welcome to my second time doing this because my re recording thing was like, you know what, let's stop working. Yeah, welcome everyone to Let's Play Monster Hunter Freedom Unite, episode one. Assuming this works. Again, it should work. I'm assuming my analog stick doesn't ghost again. Because I couldn't open the damn thing up because the screws are so tiny. But I ended up trying to, um, I put alcohol in it. Yeah, I like how he's in the game. I still find it weird. Why did... Yeah. Why did leather armor become the chainmail armor? I'm not seeing anyone question, like, why, because, um, so far in Freedom, and I think even in, uh, World and all that stuff. She's taking that Mega Dash juice, right? And Pitfall, tra I, mean, I already saw this, by the way. I like how when I... Actually, did my thing. I was like, and then now she's dead. That's the last time she will ever be awake. They were just gonna gloss over that fact. But yeah, I like how you can see how they make the armors and all that stuff. Also, I I didn't I just realized that that's the uh, um like pro armor or what, you know the acorn armor. I'm just glad that I noticed the thing it stopped uh, recording. Um, when you know before I actually started doing stuff that I can't just like easily redo. So I believe data installs like stuff if you go to like a Capcom event like a decade ago, you get stuff or something. Load failed. No. Load failed. No. Load failed. Sure. I don't know why it does this. Thankfully, the thing doesn't ask for my password, even though I've... password is stupid for that thing. But I'm still not going to say it. But yeah, I really <laughs> like this, though. Oh, it's just like a little uh, Nagakuga. And then, yeah, that's a Yin Gargoyle, I believe, back there. I'm just watching you, Agato. Don't fail me now. Yep, and then just a Kongla. Or whatever. Yeah, I think it's something to do with the fact that I, like, I didn't close the Elgato window since I recorded Freedom. Hunter X7, huh? But yeah, they have all these things, and I assume that means we have the online stuff as well. Oh boy. Oh boy, this is going to take forever, isn't it? 
sure. Is that the problem? Is the uh, fact that... Okay. Uh oh. That was a mistake. Oh, hmm. Actually, this might not be so bad. Oh, it had to... Sure? No. Fuck you. This is going to take forever. You know what? I'm actually going to cut this out and then come back when it's all done so I can, um, like, listen to YouTube while I do this. Hey, producer consumer, right? Anyway, so, I'll see you when we actually get to the menu again. Alright, so that did not take as long as I thought it would. Mostly because I can actually only download six quests at a time. Wait, what? Why would I import a Monster Hunter Freedom Unite? If... Anyways, yeah, so I know Mon so Monster Hunter Freedom 2 was part of the pack. But um, I'm doing that as its own separate thing. <sighs> Can I put in Xyframe yet? Oh yeah, this thing. I mean, why you can't just- I mean, I guess there's not enough space, but I mean... Honestly, I'm pretty sure you could just fit in a normal... Go ahead, select now. I haven't seen one of these since like 2010 when I had like a clamshell phone. I mean, I doubt I can fit it. Yep. There's a backspace on this thing. It's like Pokemon all over again. I think I'll take that, because he's actually wearing clothing. Again, I find it weird that three- wow, that hair does not match at all though. Where's my gray? Why is there no like, uh, oh. There it is. <laughs> Indeed I am, my friend. Indeed I am. To this game, at least. Why is he just, like, taking a shit, though? Like, <laughs> can I ask that? Ooh, a second cutscene. Oh, and it's this place. Oh, is this going to explain why there's an empty camp there? Yeah, Arctic Ridge, I think it's called Snowy Mountains. I don't know, I saw Snowy Mountains on... 
Oh, he's using the bone, Chris. Also, I think at this point is where the weapons start getting their, like, major attributes. It's, nope, it's Tigrex. I'm sure the guy, yeah, the guard's gonna do shit, I'm sure. Should have played Lance. Does Gunlance exist yet? I mean, we'll find out, clearly. Because it's in, um, the most interesting to me thing to me is in each generation, slash, I guess, sub-generation for the game called Generations, um, is what weapons were introduced and what weapon, you know, I guess exists. So in the first game, there was only sword and shield, dual blades. The thing is, I'm not 100% sure if sword and shield... Oh. Ah, oh, you're awake. Oh, was that a dream? Oh, and I actually have an armor set now. But anyways. <clears throat> anyways, so in the first game, there was only the... Um... Uh, great sword, which a great sword was literally just like a big sword and shield. Honestly, it was a dual blades, which are I guess an upgraded version of sword and shield. Which again, like I mentioned, makes me wonder if they're if sword and shield, if like you know all sword and shields just become dual blades eventually, or that's just a sub path. Lance, hammer, and then just the two bow guns, which is kind of surprising. No, no, you can get up yet. It's best if you rest for just a little while longer. You fell- oh, you fell from a cliff. The snow must have cushioned your fall. You were bruised and suffered a bit of frostbite, so recovery will take a few days. So I'm actually, like, a real hunter now. I guess, uh, I guess- you know what, now that I think about it- <clears throat> Yeah, now that I actually fucking think about it, if you- So, as I was saying in Frontier- oh, not Frontier, Freedom- I was saying that, you know, I'd like to think that this is the same hunter from every, in every single game. But if you think about it, um, one is the only thing is, you know, I live in Kokoro Village. Let's go become a hunter. And then now, too, right here, um, you know, I was trying to kill a Tigrex and then I got knocked the fuck out. But I'm already a hunter. Three, I'm already a hunter sent by the guild to help, um, Moga Village. Four, um, I'm seeking passage, but I'm pretty sure I'm still considered a hunter. I'm not 100% sure. And in Generations, I'm a hunter sent to the Y Academy. And then World, I'm an old world hunter, which clearly, if I've done everything, then... I'm not so much worried about the bruise on your back as much as the bruise to your ego. You're never gonna need some extra days of rest. Welcome to uh, Popo Village, I believe. I love how there's actually felines now. I think Generations might have had them, but... Please tell me I can actually have a feline companion in this game. I want Puzzle. Apparently I was stripped of my armor. I'm no longer worthy of it. Like he just does the same animation. <laughs> Alright. Fuck you. A parrot. Or bird. <sighs> You're kidding me. Cause I don't wanna have to go and like buy a fucking screwdriver. It's better, but... Oh boy. Oh, wait, is Snowy Mountain's a uh, main thing? Also, Mingard... I think how it works is... <coughs> so, Mingard at least is part of Shred, I guess. And then Shred got, like, fucked up by Fatalis. So it got split in half. So, um... 
one, so the left half became actual Mingard and like uh, Kokoro Village and stuff like that. And then I think the right side became uh, this village and the other land. Anyways. I'm the top geographer in Mingard. What you hold in your hands is a record of my life's research on the wonderful lands of this world. First part of my series will cover the snowy mountains area wrapped in white snow year round. It's a harsh environment for both monster and hunter. Hide because it's cold, that's right. From the guild established base camp at the bottom to the summit in every cave in between, no matter where you are, it is cold. No cold or hot drink is your best friend, it warms the body, but expect its effects to be halved as you approach the summit. Wait, seriously? Pokey Village, okay. Small settlement near the mountains, they create a set of armor, extremely effective at warding off the cold. The summit of the mountains will make you impervious to the chilly winds. The normal version is not very strong, however. Higher end versions bring with them admirable defensive strength. The thing, the whole good thing is it's not like, um, could you imagine a cold drink only doing half effectiveness, so you still take constant damage? <coughs> I think that in any habit, this harsh climate has adapted to become quite sturdy to within this cold. Mountain herbs, um, yep, that thing, a mountain product of particular note, thrive in the cold and can be found growing in numerous places. Environment enriches and medical power, allowing mountain herbs to command high prices in the open market. Wait, so are mountain herbs just normal herbs? Oops. Is the range also adapted? Popos and Antecas have the mountain have evolved thick fairy pelts to ward off the cold, blagang, blangos, and gear preys. Beasts that prey on these animals are no, in no way inferior to the predatory cousins from warmer climates. Even insects that are normally susceptible to the cold have developed distinctive adaptations to collect the honey found within the mountain caves. Vespoids, while rare, can be spotted in the area, unfortunately. While traversing the snowy mountains, one must be aware of the Blanganga, a fang that Pelagus beast. The large pack of Blangos, these fierce fighters, could even cause a wyvern to flee. Recent reports also cite sightings of a tigrix in the area, so extreme caution must be exercised. If you are graced with the opportunity to visit the zone, I implore you to visit the mountain summit. The most spread out before you is an absolute breathtaking experience. What look listening is some are exceptionally steep. Can see an elder dragon's shedded skin or other delights is priceless. Oh, isn't there a thing like a Kusha de Lara? Kusha de Ora? Yeah. Fucking Kezu. Um, other notes, Kezu. Whoops. Wyvern larvae found in the summit and the nest created from cast off elder dragon skin. Incredibly valuable. Carpenter bugs. Those things. Insects found legs out of the mountain's base and those ice crystal material acquired at mining points. Red de- oh, this thing. Don't you know who I am? Is this literally the same thing? Okay, this is different. There are seven levels of sharpness. I just said that you can't improve? Yeah. In creation, is it, yep, Bone Elder? That's a little different, he said, um, you should dig for ore. Oh no, the rare item, ore thing. So, what are I now? What weapon should I be using? They must be under sinking at that. Uh, similar weapons, but the truth is, you know, don't even think that. Fuck you if you think that, huh? Let's talk about Velocipre, even though know, Gear Prey. So it became Sword and Shield in, um, I guess, 3. Great Sword. Okay, just large base and lack any flexibility. Yeah, the truth is that they're incredibly deep class of weapons. You take time before you can leech an attack, but I leave. Leave open for too long, uh, too long afterwards, but they make up for this with ease of use, range, and power. So there's three types of deck. Uh, after one type of deck, it is possible to link to one of the two remaining types. You can also, go I guess, yeah, you can always do the combos. In um, the only thing is you're not as good as just charging over and over again. I guess. Uh oh. Oh, I'll change in directions. Okay, yeah, so now in the second generation, which by the way, you know, Freedom Unite is my second generation game right now. Eventually I'll play, so... Once I consider Freedom Unite 100% completed, 
I'll switch to just doing Monster Hunter Freedom. Once Monster Hunter Freedom, or right, Monster Hunter Freedom 2. Once Monster Hunter Freedom 2 is 100% complete, then I'll probably play Monster Hunter 2 Dose. Yes, the Japanese thing. It should be easy enough to deal with. Because I just need, uh, the only problem is the skills are a little different. Because alchemy, I think, is just combo plus or whatever. It's, a, it's combo plus, isn't it? For the better combination things. So you're vulnerable when you're charging with a party store up. can cut through anything in one go. So why not give it a try while you can? So it can be drawn and used immediately for an attack. That sucks. It's also able to hit high places. So it's effectively in the of flying wyverns. This is the tail cutter's dream. So it's drawn, pressing the circle button will allow you to unleash a quick circular attack. So it is especially useful when surrounded by monsters, basically, when you're not hitting a- when you're not fighting a large monster, I would say that's when you do the spin slash. These techniques can be used whenever you are surrounded by giant wyverns or small monsters. Attack can connect with another attack or quickly move into evasive actions. So it bounds guard, not really, and powerful attacks are said to be the lead player in a hunt. Or one should be aware of one point, the power of the great sword's attack changes depending on where they land. If the sword lands in your- oh yeah! Hilt or tip instead of a sweet spot, it will not do any significant damage. Something you have to become accustomed to when using great sword. So hit it with the great sword part of it. Snack range, ability to string together attacks, high attack strength. You get his points to the great sword strength, you give one a try? Yes, because it's the first one. Practical hunting hammer. We feel the hammer is deficient because it can't guard, and as we figured out, the reason why the hammer keeps on being said like, you know, but you can't guard, and I've always been like, Okay, yeah, but you can't guard with, uh, dual blades, insect glaive, is that right? Yeah, hunting horn, how can I forget my blood, my beautiful hunting horn? And, um, long sword, yeah. So I'm like, you know, why, why does a hammer really get that? But it's because hammer is the only weapon in one that can't charge, it's not like a dual blade, but dual blade's like an upgraded version of sword and shield. Well, the truth is that the hammer is a truly deep weapon. Sure, it lacks, lacks variation in its combos. There's a long gap between attacks, but it makes up for it with light footwork and a wide variety of charge attacks. Like a great sword and lance, the hammer's attacks are heavy and strong. But unlike these weapons, you can run even while brandishing a hammer. It's a weapon of limitless merits. With the ability to change with varying situations with it, you can launch any type of attack. So be able to move with ace. In the R button, you can charge up for attack. These charge attacks can be unleashed at three levels of power. I don't actually, I wonder if one has that. The three levels. It mentioned different levels, but I don't know if it's exactly three. Now along there, charge by charging to a final level power, you can unleash a devastating combo while moving, or an incredible smashing attack launched from a stationary position. If you are exiting combo attack, you can press the triangle button during the combo to unleash one, or if two extra attacks, these attacks have intense destructive power. You have to compensate for that under hammer's lack of guard. Further, all of these awesome charge attacks drain stamina if you continually charge. Charging an attack to unleash on a wyvern takes a great deal of time. You should drink power juice. Plus, your stamina for the fight. So, I get... Because, yeah, isn't it like 3 is basically when you can conceivably solo the game or something like that? Furthermore, hammer... Or... I don't remember, but I remember 3 is basically when they made the game way easier. Hold on. Uh, yeah, how did, um... The third generation make Monster Hunter uh, more accessible or whatever? Monster Hunter Generations! Monster Hunter World! Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate after Monster Hunter World isn't easy. Meanwhile, I'm literally like, Monster Hunter World is the hardest Monster Hunter World game because I can't control the fucking thing. <laughs> Fuck you. What's the point of buying uh, Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate when Monster Hunter World is better?
Again, it's so hard to find. It's like the it's the near automata thing again, where it's like you know playing near after near automata release is real is annoying to find information on. Like, hey, I need help on this thing. That's like, did you know? And you know, okay, you can find this thing in like the sewer pipe in automata. It's like I don't care. Tell me about near. It's like you can find this thing in automata. I don't care. <laughs> you know. But anyways, that's going to be for this episode, though, so if you enjoyed this video,